if we ever talk to fans, just film me talking to fans. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Hiya. Hello. Hi. Are you, do you know who I am? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so I'm so relieved. Coming up. The lads play in a magic tournament. Fascinating stuff you're doing here. <laughs> Lewis gets lost in a park. You shouldn't have gone into this park, Joe. And Duncan says this. Ah, just, you know, it's a little volatile fault there. <laughs> you have to be very careful around Christmas time or else things can turn into a tradition, what? right? Me and Duncan went to Wales oh. just before Christmas last year. We yeah. went to the castle and rode a dragon. Yeah. This time we're going to. That's not a euphemism for drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and then spin. Oh, this is great. <laughs> okay. Very, it's, it's, it's fun, it's, it's good fun. We've turned up a little bit early so we can sample some of the delights of the lovely Welsh city of Cardiff. We're not going to BBC, we're not that professional. What is this, Duncan? A, a giant uh, got his bicycle robbed. Welcome, welcome. And to all they left was a wheel that was tied up. This travel show is a, it's cracking, isn't it? You know, why don't they send us all over the place to do? I don't think we're any worse than Carl Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> that was the G spot there of Wales. <laughs> I just found it. It's been looking for years. So, so Duncan just stopped us in the street to say, "Has that bear always been there?" Looked up his phone to say, is it a pokey stop? I want to see if he's got a poker stop. <laughs> Wizards have invited us to do the Magic the Gathering Lost Caverns of Ixalan free release. We're here at Firestore Games in Cardiff. We're going to be entered into the tournament. We have to build decks. It's dinosaur themed. I'm hoping to go all the way. Oh yeah? Um, Good luck. <laughs> I'm sure this is the 98th Magic the Gathering expansion. The last expansion I was playing was Ravnica, which was the probably first like, Ravnica. Which was like there's the, been another Ravnica since I then. I know. Yeah. There's been uh, so yeah, I'm a little bit out of practice, a little bit yeah, rusty. Same. But um, I hope I get all the rules right. Uh, look, it's, we, we are old hands, and Magic is simpler than ever. Um, it's got some really cool Jurassic World cards in the set. So you can like get- And Jurassic Park. And Jurassic Park, so yeah. you can get like the Indoraptor. I've seen that one. There's a couple of others. T-Rex. I'm very much hoping to get something from Jurassic yeah, Park. Yeah, too. And then I can build my deck around that. Yeah. And then <laughs> I don't care if I lose as long as I get to like get Ian Malcolm out and do the Chaos Ka Theory. Chaotician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chaotician. Very excited. Um, so yes, we'll get on with it. Let's go. Into the this is a great place, Joe. A pre-release promo card. This is this is what we're here for, Joe. The pre-release promo card. The Ancient One. Blue black. A, a spirit god. Spirit god. That one looks good. Descend. It's an eight eight. An ancient one a can't attack or block unless there are eight or more permanent cards in your graveyard. It's pretty cool. This might be super broken. You're gonna have to build your deck around it, I guess. So if you don't know how this works, we get six boosters. We have to deck build a deck out of them. I like the little counters and stuff you get. We handy. might need them. Mm. Right, we better get started, because we've only got 15 minutes. Oh, what? We wanna build decks. 15 minutes to build a deck. Now, when building a deck, there's many things you wanna consider, not just big creatures. You want spells that remove creatures. Oh. Because there's a lot of stuff in this game that just kills stuff. And you want that. You want killy stuff. Blue mana is the is the is um kind of the everyone's everyone hates playing against blue because blue has counter spells, they sort of stop you doing stuff. They have a lot of flying creatures, it's a lot of arcane magic-y mana-y stuff. 
Green is the, the big creatures, the big dinosaurs, the big monsters. Red is like angry goblins and fire magic and burning you, like direct player damage. Black is like killing your creatures and their creatures and everyone's creatures. And then white is healing, I guess. It's most boring, but it's more than that. And they all are more than that. But yeah, I don't really want to play blue. It's kind of a slower style. Uh, I prefer green or red. What about you? I like, I like blue. I like mixing it with something else. Like blue, black is what I'm doing now. Okay, so I'm just gonna sort my big pile of cards into colors and see what I actually have because I feel like I'm gonna be in trouble. It feels like about 10 p.m. at night, but it's four in the afternoon. Then we just like, does all Wales feel like this? You know, just permanent, the city that never sleeps or that never is awake? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's so weird and French. Look at this Eiffel Tower coming up. Oh, look at this. Uh, 300 whiskeys. Wally's. It's like that shop in Amsterdam. Wally's liquor cellar. Let's have a look, have a look. Midori, do you know what Midori is? Lemon, Jap melon. It's Japanese for green. It's like a, it's like a gold bullion bar with rum in. It's got some Welsh rum made with seaweed. Joe, I'm going to try it. I'm going to give you my live rum tasting. Duncan's here to observe. Mm. I spilled some on my chin, but that's fine. Wow. Mm, the taste of Wales. Quite, quite, quite damp, quite cold, quite, quite salty. <laughs> That's really good. That's I will nice. have, I will souvenir. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Does it taste Thank you. It smells good. Mm. I'll, I'll pour you a shot once yeah, we're out. Yeah. That's good. So my deck, uh, I got a lot of really cool cards in the draft, so I'm really happy. But I mainly got this guy, a Bone Horde Dracosaur, and um, I was just like, angry dragon. Doesn't require any brain power, just goes face, red green aggro deck, um, lots of small creatures, lots of pirates, lots of littler dinosaurs, and uh, some artifacts like this, which is quite a good sort of little artifact, you know. Give a dinosaur a spear, send him in, chomp some stuff, I've got some more dinosaurs. So I've got a lot of like, just a lot of, a lot of angry guys on the field. Not too many spells, not too many tricks. I'm not gonna outsmart these guys. I'm just gonna beat them with simple face smashing. Okay, so the time is about 11 p.m. Yeah. We're still in Wales. We just finished the Magic the Gathering pre-release for Ixalan, six boosters tournament. Did you have fun? It was really fun to be doing this again. It was great fun. I, I haven't done this in ages, but oh, actually, yeah. I had a blast. We, we used to do it a few times in Bristol, didn't we, in the past? Yeah, we used to yeah. do this. Um, so I saw what Duncan got, and it was a lot of black and blue stuff. Yeah. And, it's, and he was picking it, I was thinking, that looks complicated. It wasn't too bad. My plan was to mill myself, and then when I get all the cards in my graveyard, I've got cards that get buffs when they, the more cards you have in the graveyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it worked really well. There was one creature that was just like, had his health and life were equal to the amount of cards in your graveyard. And I got up to like 15, 15 in one of the games. That's but pretty good. My opponent had the same card and he had more in his graveyard. <laughs> That's a long game. If you're, if you're getting 15 yeah. dead cards. Well, this in your is it. Like, you got this guy. So the star of my deck is this mm. Bone Horde Dracosaur. He's what's called a bomb. And in this format, if you get a really good creature like this um, and they can't deal with it, yeah. you just win. Yeah. Um, so my first. I opponent... found that out a few times. <laughs> <laughs> so my first opponent. Um, I just crushed him with this boy. I got my I got my dragon out. Um, I, I flamed. I mean, it's a, it's a dinosaur dragon. It's not just a dragon. 
and I flamed him up with it, and he got absolutely owned. <laughs> got all these other stuff, all these other, I've got uh, other, other sort of dinosaurs like this guy. You know, he's a pretty cool, he's a red green dinosaur, perfect for my deck. I had loads of um, traps and things like yeah, the Hunter's like, Blowgun. That killed me once. Won the first game, really happy. Won the second game, really happy. Going through to the third round, this yeah. is when I'm in contention. But I got up against this guy who had all of these gnomes. Gnomes? Right? And I totally got <laughs> gnomed. I got, I got. <laughs> you were, got gnomed. I got, I didn't, in 2023, <laughs> I didn't That's expect. That's relevant meme. Ev it just made more gnomes. The gnomes started getting bigger. <laughs> Um, he had things that added and moved gnomes around. Wow. And it all seemed to work well. And then I got my big dragon out. Yep. Thinking, oh, I've got this. Instantly, he had like a card oh, no. that blew it to pieces. No. And I was like, oh, no. And then I played my second. I had a, a couple of other big dragons that I, I thought I'd play out. And they got blended up by like spike traps that he had and like full on <laughs> boulder traps coming out the walls. Like, and, and it just, it, I could not beat him. So uh, Brandon, if you're watching, well done. Um, he's playing in the final right now, but we're not staying till midnight. We've got to get the last train home. Yeah. I, I haven't spoken about you. How did you do? I lost, I lost uh, all my games, but, but I'm not last. Cause look, you can see the scoreboard here, right? This is it. it. We've got me. Right there, number 69. Duncan came 69th. 69. The nice. silver lining in the... I, I beat Ryan. Well, good, yeah. <laughs> so is this fuck you, Ryan? <laughs> Ryan, I think Ryan was that, that six-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Magic's for all people of all ages. I think you shouldn't have gone with the complicated... It was complicated. The, the black, I enjoyed blue it, deck. though. Like, the actual playing of my deck was fun. Mine was, mine was like a, I hit you in the mm. face. Like, it was the simple... Well, we've been drinking that rum in the park. <laughs>
<laughs> the rum is the rum is helping to make this soft soften off these rough edges. Anyway, I wanted something simple. I had something simple. It worked well. Sounds I was like nearly it. there. If it wasn't for those pesky sh spike traps and boulder traps. My first my first two games were pretty close, but the third one was just a stomp. So no, thank you to Magic the Gathering for inviting us out here. Yeah, been great fun. Um, Cardiff Firestorm Games, really cool venue. Lovely people. All of my opponents were super nice. Yeah, yeah, I was, you know, just chatting away. Great fun. And um, more people recognized us than I thought, which is a plus. Because I thought people were going to be like, and the guests today are Duncan Lewis from Yield Cast. Everyone was like, who? who? <laughs> and some people were like that. <laughs> but some people were like, oh, I remember them from the Diggy Diggy Hole Man. <laughs> yeah, so we had a lovely night. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Yeah, thanks uh, for bringing me along, Lewis. It's good fun. We should do this again. Yeah, so... I want to get better at magic. It, I want to learn how to make a good deck. We will. Next year, it's a Christmas tradition. Mm. Duncan and I will come back to Wales For now. some reason, yeah. For some reason. We'll bring, uh, our, we'll bring our commander decks and we'll play on the train. We'll have some things. And then hopefully yeah. the train won't get cancelled or else I'm going to have to fucking ring my mother again <laughs> to pick be, us up. That would be the ultimate tradition. <laughs> I'm not sure we should make this a tradition, Duncan. The, Trip to Wales. It just might. It might just happen though. I, it's fate. Yeah. Add a, add plus one fate counter to <laughs> to Duncan and Lewis's trip. <laughs> See you next year. <laughs>